Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evan LaRue and here's my quick demonstration on how to get started on Dot 2 when it comes to adding fixtures, saving your uh, show file and just setting up basic, basic things to actually get yourself going. Alright, so we're going to quickly start off with going and how to add a fixture. This is extremely easy as it is for most lighting softwares. Um, but let's get into that now. So first of all, we're going to want to go to our setup. Right from setup, we're going to go to patch fixture schedule. Right, and then from here in the top um, right hand side, you'll see it says add new fixtures. We're going to click on that. From this point onwards, we're going to go ahead and click on select other. If you do have a basic basic fixture type though, you can come over here and you can add um, RGBW, RGBA, RGB 8-bit and, and a regular dimmer, which is a single channel. Um, and then also if you add in fixtures, they will pop up here uh, for quick and easy access. So let's say we want to add in, um, let's say an Intimidator 360. Right, so we want 14 channel mode. Right, at this section, right, so the next uh, tab you're going to click on is your quantity. Let's say I want four of those. Maybe I have four on my stage or whatnot else. Right, um, RD, you can set as one. You can change the name of the fixture over here. Normally I would do that, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it as a default. And then you, go, and you, can, you can select your patch or where it starts, um, the one, the first one is the universe, and the second one is where it is within that universe, um, in between 1 and 512. Um, Alright, and then offset um, leaves a gap in between um, each fixture, so we're gonna, I would normally never ever leave that. So there we go, then you can click on done, apply all changes to your set, we'll see how they pop up over here, and then you can also do basic things like Let's say I want to take these fixtures and I want to add them to my 2D layout. So I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to click on store. From store, I'm going to go to a, a view. I can edit the view. Oh, it's already added them in for me as soon as I clicked on it. So apparently if you double click on it, it just adds it in. But I don't think I've never ever seen that before. So let's quickly try it again. I'm going to click on clear, clear. I'm going to store it here, edit. There we go, it just adds it as soon as you click on it. That's pretty cool. Um, normally you would have to click on store and click on it and then click OK, but I don't know. All right, from this point onwards, we're going to find out exactly how do we save our show. So what you're gonna do is either, if you've already, um, you can double click on the word backup, and then it says show has successfully saved, but if you want to double check that you've done this, you can also just click on it once and you can click on save show. The best option though to choose, probably if you might forget to do that before you leave, is turn on auto save. Auto save is automatically turned off every single time you make a new show. So make sure you come here, click on auto save. I normally choose either 15 minutes or 30 minutes because if I program for two hours or maybe not even two hours, maybe I program for one hour and then I don't remember to click on back a double click backup or click on save and then if it's set to 120 minutes then I'm gonna be it's going to be all lost so normally I would choose 15 or 30 minutes I'm gonna choose 15 to be more safe though it's all about being safe and making sure you don't lose the stuff that you have already programmed all right guys thank you so much for um checking us out if it was helpful leave a like down below and subscribe obviously you can check out other content of all the events that i do personally um on a weekly basis or however long however i do events and um, you can check that out on my channel and yeah have a good one Sick.